All right, so while I was gone, the Sharks made some transactions, obviously trades and some signings. And most importantly, we got the answer on Tomas Hurdle's future with the San Jose Sharks. Um, and I'm personally happy about it. I think, honestly, either way, I would have been happy because I think, really, the Sharks front office, I think, was going to make a good decision no matter what. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this. And I think it's appropriate to talk about Tomas Hurdle first. Um, and yeah, so Tomas Hurdle, uh, it was very questionable whether or not he was going to remain in San Jose or get traded. And it finally came down to the Sharks extending Tomas Hurdle to a maximum eight-year contract um, that hit, will pay him just over $8 million a year. And I mean, I think at this point, I think I got to get a jersey because I know he's going to stay long term in the Bay Area as a shark. And I'm I'm happy. I think it's cool to have a guy that, you know, is going to be on the team for a while. And he's good. He's really, really good. So I think that really works. Um, and I'm really happy about that. And he was obviously a big name at the deadline. So I think, you know, to find out that he's staying, it's good. So that's the first. Um, the second was the Sharks acquired goalie uh, Kapo Kakanen from the Minnesota Wild in and a fifth round pick in 2022 in exchange for uh, defensive player Jacob Middleton. A little bittersweet for me. I mean, Middleton, I liked him a lot, but I think the Sharks like, really needed to prioritize uh, goaltending. Um, and I think, you know, Middleton, he was really much a bright star coming out of the ECHL. Um, he, I think he has a bright future and I think maybe it's not in San Jose. I think honestly, you know, he's gonna do some really good stuff elsewhere and he's a great fighter as well um but i think you know kakanen he's all right i think he's very confident in himself based on what i've seen in interviews and i think you know he could take over the starting role maybe especially if you know down the road uh reimer leaves the sharks um and you know i think as well he's very much affordable and matches middleton's contract in terms of how much it costs it's around seven hundred twenty five thousand dollars so sharks get a budget friendly offer and they pick up kakanen i mean obviously you know they have a lot of issues at goaltending they've been making moves obviously they got stalock um not too long ago and um so you know it's definitely something that they need to work on but i think it's a good trade i think it is a good trade overall but it is bittersweet seeing jacob middleton get traded now, the next is the Sharks acquired Anthony Vitetto in exchange for Nick Merkley. Um, weird trade. I would, sort of came out of nowhere. Um, both, you know, low contracts. And, you know, they traded 24-year-old Nick Merkley. He's very young. And then they trade him for, like, an AHL player that's not really in the NHL at all. I think this is the Sharks' losses trade, personally. I think Merkley has better um a better future to you know with the sharks overall but you know he's gone i think maybe they did this for financial stuff but then at the same time merkley wasn't super expensive so i don't know it's weird um it just seemed kind of like a waste of a trade um so and also potato will become an unre unrestricted free agent not too long from now so i think this is probably a sign that the sharks just weren't going to keep merkley and they wanted to get something out of him instead of nothing so yeah and we got two more so basically the sharks acquired a fifth round pick in exchange for andrew cogliano once again sort of a little bittersweet um and it was 50 percent retained um contracts so you know the sharks probably were doing the same thing where they were sort of hinting that they weren't gonna re-sign him um and i think cogliano he was a decent fit and then he struggled he went you know he went like well at the beginning and then he sort of like went downhill and um he's very much a great player you know in terms of work and what he does but i think honestly he struggled in some times and off the ice as well and so i think you know hopefully i'm wishing him the best but i think honestly the sharks were gonna trade him or let him go at some point so i guess getting a fifth round pick um and they traded him to the avalanche and i guess getting a fifth round pick is better than nothing so yeah, I mean, depth is important as well. And I think having him would have been nice. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's business. Uh, the last one isn't a super crazy trade. Um, the Sharks acquired Antoine Morand, the center in exchange for Alexi Melnichuk, uh, the goalie. 
Um, so I think, you know, this kind of made sense because, you know, Melnichuk was traded after the, um, the Sharks acquired uh, Kakanen. And so I think, you know, that kind of just means that they, they probably realize they have too many goalies and Melnichuk doesn't have as much value as the other goalies. Um, and he's young. Uh, he's, you know, I, I think also, you know, Zachary Sachenko is, I think, better than him as well. So I think, honestly, it was just a matter of he's not the best. He's probably one of the worst goalies in the organization, which isn't saying he's necessarily that bad of a goalie, but, you know, he's just not good compared to the other Sharks goalies. And I think Sachenko, um, you know, was better. And then, of course, they got Kokkinen, and then they have Aiden Hill, who's injured. And it's just like, it's too many. It, it comes to a point where it's just too many goalies. So I think that's fine. Um, and so I think, you know, Tampa Bay needed AHL goaltending. So Malinchuk is probably going to play in the AHL. I don't know much about Antoine Morand, um, but I think, you know, it, it's something. And, um, you know, Melnichuk is cheap, so they saw it as a good trade opportunity. So, yeah, those are all the Sharks um, sort of sort of midseason, uh, past midseason acquisitions. And, then of course, the big signing of Tomas Hurdle. That was big, and I'm happy it happened. So, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys later, and, yeah, peace out.